So you may have seen in our last video that we added a script that allowed you to synchronise a projector's playback with an audio track in order to, in essence, simulate a video file. In that example, we still had to load several hundred video frames into the projector, which have to be processed at runtime. So while the result is very high quality, many users will find the additional level load time unacceptable. The various optimizations that were made in the last few patches have finally made it feasible to process images in real time. This means that in update 1.3 we're finally able to add support for projecting render textures and video files. So here we have one of the new projectors, a video projector in fact, which is the same as a render texture projector, but it has this project video script on it too. I have this sample scene set up so there's a render texture camera is projected, unless we have a video file in this project video script. Uh, so if I just click play, there is a small stutter due to the, fr the, the render texture projector starting as a high resolution, but we see it's quickly downscaled so we end up with a playable frame rate. You can see that this is a live render texture due to the moving ball, and I can move the camera and you can see the projected image updating instantly. All I've had to do is drag and drop my render texture onto the projector. So if you want to project a video, it's just as easy. I drag and drop my video file onto the video player, and I'll just enable the script. And the video will now play instead. Um, I've actually disabled play on awake on this script, so I've got another sample control script attached, uh, which allows me to start the video by pressing space. I can then pause and resume with the spacebar as well. So again, all I've had to do is drop one of these new prefabs into the scene, uh, position the image as normal, and assign it my render texture of choice. Uh, the preview image is now plain white because we're only allowing images to be calculated at runtime. Okay, I'll need to adjust the brightness a bit. There we go. And I'll just do the same for the video projector quickly. I'll delete this render texture camera and just quickly drag and drop the video. Ah, and the render texture. And there we go. So there you have it. Um, the main advantage of using this new render texture projector uh, is that it has zero level load time and you do not have to do all the old preparation of static images. Uh, just simply drag and drop your render texture and video file if required. Video projectors also have an audio source by default uh, which you can adjust based on your requirements um, or just disable altogether. The main disadvantage, however, of these new types of projectors is that the quality is not as good as a static image projector. Um, as we need to process the images in real time, we are limited by the resolution we can achieve. Render texture projectors have a setting for the maximum processing time allowed, which ensures we maintain a playable frame rate. The projector will automatically reduce its resolution until it fits within the given processing time. As with a standard image projector, using less lens shift will result in a better quality image, as the image can make more use of the pixels inside the projector cookie. So there you are. I hope you have fun with the new features, and thanks for watching.